<clears throat> All right, good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. This is actually me. Well, I've taken yesterday's conversation deeper, but I'll get to that in a second. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, um, introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. You've probably figured that out if you've seen my broadcast. And about me, I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And that's my passion. I'm also a passionate champion for Divine Feminine, which fuels the former. Um, and I do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And this is number 359, almost a year's worth. Um, I do this every day because um, there's stuff to talk about. <laughs> um, and so today's topic is a follow-up to yesterday's. If you didn't see yesterday's broadcast, number 358, that was called, that was called Slut Shaming. Um, and it was about a video that I shared and watched, which I put in the comments below that one. And it was about um, Amber Rose and what she's been gone through and what she's doing and, and about life. But there was been some dialogue below that post between women, not between men, but between women, that was very um, opposing. Not antagonistic, but opposing. And so I want to speak into this more, not so much to defend one or the other, but to speak to the overarching issue, which is the labeling and judgment of other people. And this is what bugs me. So if you, if you want to see my video yesterday, which is about slut shaming and my perspective on it, that one I recommend watching. It's 358. Today's one is about the, this is like the meta, this is the meta conversation. That's what it is. It's taking the level of labeling, judgment, and otherwise name calling and disassembling it, taking it apart because of there's some pieces in here beyond the actual titles that is way more important and way more effective, sorry, way more impactful on your life. And I want to provide you some tools so you can be more effective and not stop by it. So let me, um, I'm taking a piece from yesterday's talk out of the context of what it was. Okay. So first of all, I mentioned that, and I, I did go back to the old phrase about um, sticks and stones and may break my, bo break my bones, but, but um, well, thank you, Adam. I appreciate you being here. And I'm hoping this is going to go deeper. <laughs> so yes, we'll see. Um, in that slut shaming conversation yesterday, in that video, I talked about how what I was appreciating her about, Amber Rose, for you don't, don't know who it was, for, yes, she, she hasn't been perfect by any means, but she, her stand and what she was doing with that label she was assigned, that judgment she was blamed with, that title of slut that she was labeled with, she made it a brand and she's rocking it. And some of the women on the post were upset with that. Not upset with me, but upset with her that she set a bad example or something. And so I want to speak to a little piece of this, which is really on my mind. And, and I mentioned, and I didn't finish saying it, yesterday about how that old phrase is from childhood about, um, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt me. Words will never hurt me. The, the, the inaccuracy of that is, for many people, maybe you, um, certainly was for me and still is a degree, words do hurt. Because the labels and judgments placed by the people can be very painful because they're like knives stuck in your gut, especially from people you care about. And so I want to speak to that, because that's the piece that I think is being missed in this whole topic. Um, I mentioned yesterday is also that I was raised, uh, being born raised Jewish and go to a non-Jewish school. I ended up being persecuted and um, name called and other things that were very, they were painful for a teenager. As an adult, I look back and I have a very different perspective now. In fact, I think I wouldn't be as comfortable as I am in my skin if it hadn't been for that. So then looking back, I have a great deal of as much as it sounds strange, gratitude for those insults. And that's why I want to speak to that piece because for you, you may have a position where in life, in your relationships, in your family dynamics, in your social community, you may have actually suffered through judgments and blame and labels that weren't, they may have been accurate in their perspective, but the reality is that you don't need to take them personally. In this, for example, in the, the whole thing about slut as that term, one of the women posted um, a link to a, a definition, or should say a historical reference to that term that comes from the 1500s, where the term slut didn't have anything to do with sexuality until maybe a century ago. Before that, it's just a term for how somebody dressed. It was even a term for, that was applied to men and women, and it still is it to a degree. So the, the, the pain that people suffer when they go, you know, don't use that term, it's so insulting. It's like, well, it's only as insulting as you let it be. That's the key. 
as the recipient of any insult, term, judgment thrown at you, you have a choice. You can take it as what it as, as the way it was thrown, which is like a live grenade, and you can get blown up in the face and get like, oh, oh God. Or you can look at it and go, it's a dud. I mean, seriously, it's almost that effective because that grenade thrown to you, its detonation or its lack of detonation is up to you, not them. And this is where the power comes from. That was actually a pretty good analogy. I like that. <laughs> I just threw that one out there. But the reality is that when someone insults you, that is actually their judgment. Oh, here we go. This is the other piece. I knew it was coming, to, coming through. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, this happens where stuff will download and come through and go, oh, now I see the picture, they're fitting together. So, I talked about this before about resentment. Um, and when someone judges you by saying something slanderous, insulting, negative to you, at you by labeling you as something, they are in, in, in fact judging you. Yes, they're judging you. Um, and it's a form of resentment. Now, resentment, as I've said a few times before, because I've heard this analogy and it works really well, is resentment is the idea or the, met- the metaphor of resentment is taking poison expecting the other person to die. And the truth is, that's what it can do to your system, toxically speaking. If someone throws you an insult or throws a, throws a judgment your way, makes you try to make you feel shame, that judgment, that label, that resentment is actually in them, not you. So like I said, when someone throws an insult at you, it's like they throw a grenade at you, except you have the choice of whether it blows up or not. And that's what I want to say, is that you, as the recipient, it's going to sound strange, but you as the recipient have the power of what to do with it. Someone throws an insult at you, it isn't an insult until you take it personally. Thank you for that, Mia. I appreciate the love. (laughs) It's really up to you to decide what to do with it. Now, as I said, as a teenager, I didn't understand this stuff. So I was taking these insults personally, and I was wounded by emotionally. But the thing is, I look back now and realize that I chose to let those wounds in. Or actually, it's almost like self-inflicted. And that's the thing. With that that grenade of shame or grenade of, of, of judgment thrown at you, you get to decide if it's live or not. You get to decide if it's going to go off or not. If it's going to explode in your face and give you upset and hurt feelings and judgment, self-judgment, or if you're going to go, that's not about me, that's about them. When you get to that place, the power you get back, the freedom you have, and the ability to honor yourself, own your space, and be free is a gift for everybody. And the funny thing is, when that person is insulting you, the only way to really be victorious is to not take it personally. Because the truth is, when you react to that person, then they win because they got you to play with them. Play being a very loose term. And so when you're being insulted and let yourself be insulted, then your justification to argue with them or to take it personally or any one of those spectrum, you've entered a dance with them. And this is part of this codependent conversation I've talked about many times in relationships. There are people in relationship who are insulted by their partners and they take it personally because they're not willing to leave. But they can also do one other thing, which is to not take it personally. And this is the thing. I mean, let's, go, let's use some other quotes. Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt was, said, was quoted as saying many years ago that what you think of me is none of my business. Well, what you say about me is none of my business either. Because what you say about me is more about, what you're, about you than it is about me. Try those on precise. If you can take those three ideas on, and really own them, it will change your life. Absolutely change your life. And it will give you freedom like you never believed. Well, you haven't believed until now. Maybe this is making some sense to you. I hope it is. But this is, my, my, this is part of my passion with my, with my clients. I was talking to a couple of clients today and watching how they were chosen to take on the labels that were given to by somebody else and their feelings were getting hurt and I was really showing them they could take it apart and go, hang on a second, you're actually hurting your own feelings by taking what they said as truth. And it's not. And that's the other thing, by the way. These insults that are thrown at you are labels. They're not who you are. So making truth out of them is a waste of your time, and it is unjustified. But by doing it, you justify their choice of words, whoever they are that's saying it to you. So why do you want to do that? <laughs> I'm hoping making this make sense to you. When somebody throws an insult at you and you take it personally, that's your willingness to play in the game that they devise that you lose at. There's no win in that for you. 
but the best revenge is not taking things personally which sounds bizarre because when you don't take we don't take it personally you don't care so there's no point in revenge but it's the sign that they actually lose because all the upset and feelings and this is the thing as i mentioned how resentment is that metaphor of taking poison for expecting another person to die they are being toxic throwing toxicity at you but it's not sticking so they're getting actually um sickened as it were by what they're throwing out and you're not affected that is revenge <laughs> as much as I'm not saying you should take revenge and because the thing is you think that revenge would be to insult them back it's not that's the game they're playing but you don't have to do that and this is the thing that it, it, it took me a while to get this one too is that somehow I felt that if somebody insulted me I had to insult them back to make it level playing field that's not that's not level and it's not it's not beneficial because what it's doing for you is simply lowering you to their standards and if and here's the thing most of the time when you're being insults being thrown at you is because you're higher up than somebody else. They actually want to bring you down to their level. So when they throw insults at you up here, you've got a again, choice. You want to take it personally or not? If you don't take it personally, they're still down here and you're still up here. I'm speaking consciousness, awareness, loving, whatever you want to call that. If you say, I'm going to get back at you, you go straight into their level. And that's not helping you. It's helping them, but not you. So get clear about your choices. This is such a simple piece in so many ways, yet it's a pivotal piece to change your life. Yes, this is a life-changing practice. When you can be in a place where you could be thrown insults by 17 people in front of you, when you don't take it personally, you're free. Now, I need to go to a little PS on this one because I talked about this yesterday, about um, part of the work I'm doing, part of my stretch now I'm doing, and I have to do this, is and this part of the Me Too conversation in a way where it's not Me Too necessarily because it's not about that particular part, part of it, but when men harass women. For many years, there's been this um, framework or this um, societal norm, it seems, where groups of men have thrown insults, derogatory terms, sexual innuendos at women as they go by. I mean, it's kind of a immoral standard in a way. And I said yesterday, and I'm saying it again today because I'm declaring this, is one of me fighting other men to join me in this, by the way, maybe you want to hear what I'm going to say before you say you'll join me, is to, if you're in a group of men that start doing that, to stop it. To say to them, stop doing that. It's not, they don't deserve it. So this is, not, this is in a way, um, after what I just said about how taking insults personally, when you don't, you can be free. But if you can stop the perpetrators as a participant in the perpetration, is that right? Per perpetu yeah, with that word. Then it actually helps everybody. Because part of what, I'm work, what my work is, for you know me, is I'm raising the standards of connection, respect, and um, reverence for, for the feminine. As I said, I'm divine passion, a passionate coach for the divine, passionate champion of the divine feminine, blending my words together. So that means in practice, to one, be more respectful to women out of my heart and desire, and to awaken other men to do the same thing. So men, if you're out there watching this, and this speaks to you, please join me in this one. It's not an easy one because the majority of men haven't got this yet. But we're starting to step up and wake up and become more willing to speak our truth, which is that game doesn't work anymore. That um, demeaning behavior doesn't work for anybody. And men who do it need to grow up, stop being boys. So that's, that's the PS for that one. So um, I think that covers what I was going to talk about today. I wanted to break down the whole thing about name calling and the insulting and everything that goes on. And I hope this has been of value to you in some way, shape or form. I do a lot of, I actually have, um, yeah, I do. I, actually, I was just thinking if it makes sense to put it in this place. I do have a, um, a two-part assignment that I give to my clients to help them free up that um, recrimination and self-judgment inside from those insults that have been thrown at them and landed for them or their feelings of judgment against themselves. That are, they're in the way of them being free to love, to be free, to, to, to live life fully. If you want those, then I can send them to give their PDFs. I can send an email to you. Um, send me a message over social media with your email address, and I will send them to you. Um, so if you're watching this on Facebook, you can do it there. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can do it there. Um, if you want to send a message directly over my website, you can go to barryselby.com and click on the, let's t um, on the contact, contact? Yeah, contact but, uh, navigation choice. If you're a person who's looking for love in the wrong places, you want some help, ladies in particular, this is my speciality. Um, on, my web, on my website, again, barryselby.com, there's a menu choice on the left-hand side, which is Let's Chat. Click on that, sign up for a conversation with me, my gift to you, and we can talk. 
Um, this is one of my ongoing talks about relationships, romance, love, passion, men and women, all that sort of stuff. Stuff. <laughs> and you can find the rest of these broadcasts on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, as well as on my YouTube channel, which I just mentioned. It will go up there soon, which is um, the, play the channel is Barry Selby and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. You might be watching that here right now. Um, any comments, questions you have below, I'll answer them after I sign off. And if you want to share this with somebody, please do so. Um, and your homework. I do give homework, even though it's a weekend. If you're carrying around some um, a knot in your throat or, or a tightness in your stomach from something somebody said recently, if you know I let it go, let it go. If you don't know I let it go, reach out and I'll help you with it. It's no benefit to you to keep carrying it. So let it go, free yourself up, and live a life of freedom, of love, of joy, because you deserve it. No matter what anybody else might say, despite what anybody else might say. I think that's my summary. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me. I'll be back in tomorrow, I think. I've got a very busy day tomorrow, and it's Sunday, but I've got a lot of social engagement, so I'll try and get a Facebook Live done somewhere on the road. Um, almost at the year. Wow. It's getting to be an interesting journey. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.